In a highly anticipated matchup between two Mexican boxing warriors, Miguel Roman and Orlando Salido clashed in a thrilling bout in 2022. Here are the fight highlights. The fight started with both fighters coming out aggressively, throwing powerful punches. Roman showcased his speed and accuracy, landing crisp combinations. Salido, known for his toughness, absorbed the shots and retaliated with heavy hooks. Roman continued to dictate the pace, using his footwork to create angles and land effective jabs. Salido, undeterred, displayed his trademark relentless pressure, forcing Roman to fight off the ropes. Both fighters exchanged fierce blows, thrilling the crowd. Salido began to find his rhythm, connecting with powerful body shots that visibly affected Roman. However, Roman showcased his resilience, firing back with precise counter punches. The round ended with both fighters trading heavy shots in the center of the ring. Roman regained control, utilizing his superior boxing skills to outmaneuver Salido. He landed a series of clean punches, staggering Salido momentarily. Salido, refusing to back down, fought back with sheer determination, landing a few solid hooks of his own. The fight intensified as both fighters unleashed their full arsenal. Roman showcased his versatility, switching between head and body shots, while Salido relied on his power punches. The round ended with a fierce exchange, leaving the crowd on their feet. Salido, sensing the urgency, increased his aggression, pushing Roman against the ropes. He unleashed a barrage of punches, testing Roman's resilience. However, Roman weathered the storm and retaliated with precise counter punches, regaining control. The fight entered a 2-2 two -to -two slugfest, with both fighters trading heavy blows. Roman's speed and accuracy proved to be the difference, as he landed cleaner shots. Salido, displaying his warrior spirit, absorbed the punishment and continued to press forward. Roman's superior boxing skills began to take a toll on Salido, who showed signs of fatigue. Roman capitalized on this, landing a series of devastating combinations. Salido, refusing to go down, fought back with heart, but struggled to match Roman's precision. Roman continued to dominate, showcasing his technical prowess. He landed a powerful left hook that sent Salido to the canvas. Salido beat the count, but Roman pounced on him, unleashing a flurry of punches. The referee stepped in, stopping the fight, declaring Miguel Roman the winner by TKO. It was an epic battle between two Mexican warriors, with Miguel Roman emerging victorious in a hard-fought contest. Both fighters displayed incredible heart and determination, providing fans with a memorable fight. And on and on and on, yeah. in kinds of fights, all through his career. There you go, power punches landed this round, both well into double figures. He has guile, you know, he's the more clever fighter of the... Round four of the scheduled ten. Let him go, let him go, let him go. Through the first three rounds, They've thrown a total of about eight jabs between them. Everything is power punches. Harold, how do you have it through three? <laughs> okay, Jim. Like, you know, when they fight a uh, head-to-head, toe-to-toe, Orlando Salido is almost unbeatable. He lands that hard right hand. I got a three to nothing, 30 to 27 Orlando go, Salido, because I think that right hand to Salido's is doing more. And ultimately, maybe by stoppage. And so far, it's playing out the way and it was anticipated to play. Let's sequence of the right hands from Salido. Yeah, he landed a couple of solid shots. Right hand for Roman. Salido fires back with a combination. Down goes Salido. 11th time he's been knocked down in the last nine fights. He really didn't have his feet under him even when he tried to get up. So the obligatory early knockdown of Salido takes place in round four. And now Roman comes on to try to capitalize on having hurt the old man. This is Roman's whole career right here, guys. Can he finally get over the hump against the guy who fights through this? In this moment with Roman overextending himself. Roman, R Roman had a moment right there. I think Salido's back. I think his head is clear. He has extraordinary recuperative powers. Here we see a good exchange from both fighters. Two-fisted attack. 
a right and a left, and a grazing right hand from Rahman that hits the chin of Salido. Doesn't look very hard, but it's hard enough to put him down. Here we see another angle. Left, right, lands square on the chin, down goes Salido. You know, you watch, you watch him go down and add up, really. But that one was well placed and well timed. Yeah, it's where you get hit. But he really didn't have his legs. I mean, they were not good, and he got up and, and won the rest of the round. He recovered, but some of that may just be age. He's been in a lot of wars. He's got a lot of... Key Garcia, as I was mentioning, Salito was dropped so many times. He should have been knocked out. Still coming forward, and it was a technical loss. Left side of his face is cheekbone. Well, it was Ramon who appeared to me to be swelling in the cheekbone at the end of the last round. I think both of Lito is, he doesn't have normal tough fights. Like, this is an extraordinarily tough action fight. It's par for the course for him, but... But you can see both guys starting to bust up from the inside out because of the body shots, the short uppercuts, the short hooks. Both guys are inflicting a lot of damage on the other one right now. Which is exactly what we expected. Which is exactly what we told you, the audience, you would see. A firefight of the highest order. This round in particular is such good back and forth inside let him go, offense. Let him go, let him go. Shots that do the damage. Come on in the first round, and Ramon knocks the leader down. In the last round, they're both constantly looking for that moment. That sometimes indiscernible moment when you've gotten... Sometimes the moment can pass without you really knowing. Good work from both men yeah. right now. Amazing. This is extraordinary. Amazing. Savage body work. As Harold Letterman said earlier, these are not easy rounds to score. Here's the sixth of a scheduled ten. Salido starts out to the body in this round. Now brings it upstairs with the right hand. The, one of the things that makes Salido such a great action fighter, maybe the premier action fighter at the moment, oh, that's a big right hand he landed, is that he is vulnerable. He shows vulnerability, the kind that had you never seen him fight. And believe it or not, he has a game. The merchant used to say about Arturo Gatti, drama fighter. Salido is a real drama fighter. Coming at the end of the, the day, deck. I'm not going to say that it doesn't matter to you whether he won or he lost, but sometimes it's hard to remember whether he won or he lost. But I, I love to go into a boxing discussion with a bunch of people and say, hey, tell me, who won the first Gaddy Ward fight? And so many times people get it wrong. Like, how could anybody remember? Right, Salido versus Rocky Martinez, Salido versus... Vargas, Salido versus so many guys where you go, who won or lost, you don't remember. Because the fight is a loser in a fight like that. The fights are so entertaining that it's almost a four. It doesn't even matter, like you just mentioned, Jim. Win. In a genuine spiritual sense, with the communion of boxing fans, both fighters win in a fight like that. Exactly. But they pay a high price. Low, and this may not Salido, even be guys. your favorite style of fighting, but at the very least, you have to respect both of these guys for the way they, they put it all on the line. You know, you, we talk Salito's crafty. He's also a dirty fighter. Salito hits you low as a point of his strategy. It's a tactic he employs. And he hit Bar uh, uh, Roman low a couple times in this round one with a really uh, effective right hand. And it's helped him in this round. He knows how to do it and get away with it. That's why we got a referee. The referee has to do his job. Yeah, but I'm not sure any referee is competent to keep up with everything that Orlando Salido is capable of doing in the ring. And perhaps the only saving grace is that dirty fighters respect other dirty fighters. Round six, Roman landed a fight high 27 power shots, and Salido landed a fight high 28 power shots. And here they are to match again. Now, Harold, it's an extra point for the knockdown in round four. So that's keeping the fight very, very close. I mean, this fight is about as close as you can get. But you can look at the fighter and see they're not as passionate about what they're doing. And it doesn't, it makes the fight less good. You know, when you see the passion from Roman, you see how, how extraordinarily, like, emotional it gets between these two guys. Yeah, and both fighters have to have these wins. 
We talked about the fans appreciating a good fight like this and maybe not worrying about who the victor is, but both guys really need a victory if they're gonna move on to the next stage because Salito's trying to get another title shot and Roman is trying to get another title shot and they both have to win tonight in order for that to happen. Well, we've referred to Basita Lomachenko and his on paper loss to Orlando Salito. What would it take? Would a million dollars get you to do it? And he said, well, maybe. I think the, you know, if Vasily Lomachenko is genuinely thinking of leaving the 130-pound weight class, the one thing that might lure him to the win that he got. He did legitimately win that fight. It was Lomachenko's second pro fight, you know, all that. So he does have that win, and for that reason, it would be an interesting rematch. Roman is showing such urgency with the way he's fighting. Well, this is the fight of Roman's life. I mean, as Andre said it perfectly earlier, the, you know, this is the Super Bowl for Roman. If he could beat a guy like Salido, that makes his career. Let him go, let him go, let he goes go. back to Juarez and says, I beat Orlando Salido. If Salido loses to a guy like Roman, maybe it indicates that he's a half-court low. Yes, maybe. But we thought that before. What a war. Did 300 punches between them. And most of them are full-on power shot. <laughs> Not a chance, Jim. <laughs> if they throw you. Well, that's between you and Copybox, Max. <laughs> but I, I, I see it's, what you're I saying. I don't see Willie Pep in every there Every punch makes contact with something. <laughs> oh, oh, what a solid left hook to the body by Roman. So Salito comes back with three. Okay, I've got a left hook to the body. Another hard left hook to the body by Roman. Fighting with a real sense of urgency here in round number eight. Let's see if Salito can match the urgency at age 37. Salito, his 22nd year of prize fighting. So tough, guys. I mean, you're exactly right, Jim. How does he come back and respond every time in every fight from these, from this kind of assault? Because he's Orlando Salito. That's why he's being assaulted here, and and he's given as good as he's taken. All he knows, Max, is to respond and to answer when he's hit with a big shot. If you look at the body of Salido, both sides of his body is red from the, the, uh, the body shots of Roman, and he's answering right back. You know, the Vargas fight was tremendous. His fight of the year. There's something about this fight. There goes Salido, second time in the fight. That's a huge moment for Mickey Roman, and he pumps his fist for the crowd. This time, Salido's hurt. And he's up again. Stabian, Stabian, let's go. Stabian, see, Stabian, see. Here we go. Fighting with the urgency of a guy who sees his whole career in front of him. He said, "I've had a sad go, career," go, go. A, and this a, could turn it all around for him. No, Max, his, his career is hanging in the balance. He's 0-2 in world title fights. He doesn't know when he's going to get another opportunity like this. He has to seize the moment right now. If you could see the face of Mickey Roman at this moment. This was different even than the Vargas fight, guys, because Roman is a guy who's not trying to go to the scorecards. He's not content with being in a great fight. He's putting it all on the line to win right now. Salito's hurt. He's throwing back, but he doesn't have a lot on those punches, and that's because he was hurt badly by those body shots and that head shot that put him down. These are arm punches from Salito. It's that he's trying to act his way through. He's trying to make Roman think that he's still there, and now he's rallying back to try to give him one last step. retaliation at the end. Typical, and there's the Salido family. Typical Orlando Salido fashion. Let's go, baby. Let's go. He's got to put your combinations in, baby. You got to go. Go, go for it all. You got to gamble. Come on, champion. Let's do it. Beautiful body shot from Roman. Followed up with a head shot. Missed an uppercut. Landed a left and a right hand and another left. Missed a right. But put Salido down. And that time, he hurt Salido. Here we see it again. A left, a right, a left. Salido was badly hurt from that barrage from Roman. Myra Salido. Tonight. Mickey Roman. Back when he was a teenager, knew which person had shot his brother, didn't tell police because he trusted karma to take care of it. And
and a few years later, that guy died in prison. Mickey Roman, who is willing to wait for satisfaction after a life of hardship and frustration, and may finally get it tonight. Well, Salito's still not for fading in fights sometimes. He's not fading. Getting a spirited effort between rounds from trainer Rudy Hernandez, for whom it's an equally big night. A chance to make a mark as a trainer and a guy in the gym. I think he hurt Salito again right there. He was a little off balance, but I think he hurt him with that short left uppercut. He was in the corner that beat me. He must know something. <laughs> That's a good point. Down goes Salito again. Salito and just Robert quit. Robert Byrne is going to stop the fight. And Mickey Roman has a career-making win. Not so much quit, guys, as Salito had the fight beaten out of him. By a determined opponent who was almost gone on a right hand in round one. Coming into this fight, Salito in his late 30s has it, had admitted that at a certain point in the not too distant past in his career, he felt tired. Andre Ward wondered aloud how much he had left. And it turned out not enough to turn back the challenge of a fighter who also felt that everything was on the line tonight. Guys, this was a special fight even among special fights it was not just your typical great action fight it was better than that this was a heart pounding fight from start to finish and ultimately here's how Roman finished it just beautiful work to the body to the head Salito goes down and Roman just beat the fight out of Salito that's the best way you can put it I think Max put it as best as you possibly can Salito has a lot of wars under his belt I know he had a new training regime for this fight, but off camera I told Max that Salido just looks tired. If you look in his face before the fight and the fighter meeting, he looks like a fighter who's been through more wars than you can count, and tonight it showed up. And there's Myra Salido at ringside, along with Orlando's daughter, as Robert Bird was waving it off. And there's the look of fatigue and disappointment on the face of Orlando Salido. Max Kellerman makes his way up into the ring for what promises to be an emotional post-fight interview with Miguel Roman. And I'm not sure if this is the last time we'll see Salido, but if it is, kudos to him. He's had a tremendous career. He's entertained boxing fans for many, many years. He's got nothing to hang his head hat about. Excuse me, his head about. And there's nothing but respect for Orlando Salido. And look at the smile on the face of Rudy Hernandez. And Roman says, that was fun. Let's do it again. Roman needed this kind of victory tonight. I think he needed a good trainer, too, and I think he's got one right now. Not disparaging his previous trainers. Sometimes change is good just for the sake of change. And I think Rudy Hernandez helped him tonight. Now let's go to ring announcer Ray Flores with the official particulars on the knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 43 seconds of the ninth round. Referee in charge, Robert Bird waves off the contest for your winner by technical knockout, Miguel Mickey.